Hey, it's part two of our Domestic Violence Awareness Month uh, show. Dr. Robin L. Smith is in the house, author of the book, The Truth About Great Marriages. And I want to get into this topic of uh, men hitting women and women hitting men. For the men and women who are listening right now, and I've given out the 800 number many, many times on the yeah. show, and I'm going to continue to give it out today. What do you find in your, in your practice? What does it normally take for that man or woman to finally call and get some help? Well, you know, the issue of shame is so big because what people are struggling with is if I felt good about myself, I wouldn't let someone do this. Well, there may be some truth to that, but the way that we get out of hell isn't to put an air conditioner in it. It's to feel the heat and to find a safe person. So that may be to call the 1-800 numbers that you've been giving out. It also may be to tell your friend, to tell a family member, because, you know, often, Michael, people know that domestic violence is happening. Friends know, family mm-hmm. know. They know something is off in that house. Something is off. I mean, they just, they know something, but they don't feel permission to speak about it because of the silence the victim is keeping around it. You know, one of the lies, and I talk about this in Lies at the Altar for people, whether they're married or in committed relationships, and people take the marriage vow, and they say, well, you know, in sickness and in health, for better or for worse. And I talk about domestic violence in for better or for worse, because I've actually had people say, well, I did promise. Mm. I did promise. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, let's back it up a minute. <laughs> you promise what? And they said, well, I promise for better or for worse. And this is the worst part. That's the one thing we can be sure of is that the creator is never in the business of being in a, an abusive situation. So if you're, if you're listening right now and you're hearing Michael's voice and my voice and you're thinking, but, you know, I'm a person of faith and, and he is a person of faith and we believe, well, what we can kind of at least agree on in this moment is that God is not a part of abuse ever. I love having you on the show, Doc. We're going to be taking your calls right now on domestic violence, men and women abuse. The question is, what are you going to do to make it stop? Because it's not going to stop on its own, family. 